Hey guys, Matthew with Parkway Business Solutions. I'm gonna do a little bit of a unique video today. I'm actually reviewing two different applications at the same time. Uh, the first one is Loom, which is a video recording program, which is what we're using right at the moment. It's a Chrome extension, free, takes just a couple moments to get it set up and, and recording. This is actually kind of a, a live test of it right now, so we hope it goes great. Uh, I like the fact it gives you this little bubble that you can resize, make it bigger, make it smaller. Um, you can also choose whether to have a bubble or not, which is great, but you can move it, get it out of the way, of course. Um, and then once you've got your videos, you're able to actually go in and do some basic editing of the videos, such as cropping out ums, the different hiccups in a video, uh, as well as then share those videos with somebody else or with something else. You can embed them into emails, you can um, share them on social media sites. So it, it's really meant to be kind of like a quick response that you could use. Some of their, their examples are, you can use it for stand-up meetings where every day you're reviewing the things that you're gonna be handling. You could shoot back responses to clients very easily with a video like this. So far, I, I like it. Uh, I'll be sure to follow up and give you guys more details on it. Now, the second app is something that I've actually been playing with for quite some time, and it's called Process Street. And Process Street is simple process and workflow management. So simple, it's literally like checklists. Now, what's it was always a really cool application, but they just recently, about a month and a half ago, introduced the opportunity to use conditional logic. For those that are not quite as familiar with conditional logic and or the idea of like branching uh, task lists, what that means is based on an answer that you give to one item, it will, it will branch off and you'll have two different pathways that you could take. With that new capability, Process Street has just become a super, super powerful program. We've also found that with Process Street, they make it to where their run lists can be embedded into other programs. We use Microsoft Teams to help with our, our workflow. It's a client file review checklist. So for our company, what it does is it gives us a process to go through anytime we have to review a pre-existing company file. Make sure we hit all the hot points. We can go through uh, to do a very brief overview of it. Uh, you'd come in and at the pre preliminary review portion of it, you would have questions like this money in where you're going to see that invoices have been checked off and estimates and customer payments. Now, if you look off to the side here, you're going to see the estimates, invoices, customer payments. So watch if I remove these, they get removed as well that makes it to where you can now have this dynamic review process that you're adding in the extra modules if you need them so you're going through and you're reviewing a company file it's like okay yeah they've got invoices let's check that off and now you get a whole new portion of questions to go through to make sure you don't miss something then to go a little bit further with it i wanted to save more time because even after we do this big huge review and we go through all the whole the whole system you still have to do some kind of write-up. You still have to get your notes onto paper. What Process Street has allowed us to do is they call them variables. You can take the answers to all of those things and you can actually map out the details. So when I go to the very end here, discovery reports, we'll pretend we filled out the whole thing. A great example of it is gonna be my company details page. You can see here that I've got my information, Matthew, Parkway Business Solutions, so forth. That all came from the point of contact. Last name's missing. Let's put it in real quick. Come back down, and now the last name is there correctly. The way it works is every single question has a field value. So if I take the Fulton back off and I go back, we're going to see what's been mapped to that place. Now, if you don't want to have to answer every single one of the questions and so forth, I found if you put a space in, it still accomplishes the same goal. We also have the ability that we can create emails directly from this. So I can actually format and populate an email with all of this information, or I could use something like Zapier, and I can zap the details from the questionnaire into my CRM if I want to. I could create invoicing if I need to in QuickBooks Online. Um, the opportunities are just 
endless as they keep adding more and more and more different applications to, to Zapier. We thought this could be a really, really good tool to share with other accountants and bookkeepers. They do offer a free account. Conditional logic does require a higher level subscription, but it is well worth it. I do recommend, however, start with the free account, build some templates, get used to it. Matter of fact, if you need some assistance, reach out. I'm far from an expert on it, but I'm happy to share my knowledge. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, again, a little bit of a unique one that we were doing a two and one at the same time. Loom, first shot out of the gate with it. Would love to hear you guys' feedback on, on the video. And uh, as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.